in this lesson i will explain to you the concept of constraint satisfaction problem means what is constraint satisfaction problem known by csp in artificial intelligence again this is one of the most important topic but i will try my best to make it as easy as possible first i will read the definition then i will explain to you with the help of example so in artificial intelligence and in operations research constraint satisfaction is the process of finding a solution to a set of constraints that impose conditions that the variables must satisfy see this definition seems to be difficult but when i will explain the same thing with the help of example i will read it again and it will be much more clear to you see here in definition we have used the word constraints conditions so constraints means some rules some conditions some limitations which variables have to satisfy that is why it is called constraint satisfaction problems even if you will read this constraint csp or mathematical equations defined as the set of objects whose state must satisfy a number of constraints or limitations now what is the meaning of this right okay no worries at all i will explain with the help of example then we will come back to this slide and read it so in csp problem actually you have to consider three things the first one is called the variables second one is domain and third one is constraints right so here suppose i will write down set of variables see it says that the conditions or rules that variable must satisfy so variables whatever name they are using in the question x1 x2 x3 y1 s1 i am going to use v1 and v2 right because it's variable up to vn suppose we have v1 v2 and so on variables similarly set of domain now what is the meaning of domain the value which we assign to these variables suppose if i will assign 2 3 it is not necessary that it is always some numbers no you can have some letters you have some colors and so on so it says d1 d2 up to dn these are the domains right the values which we assign to these variables and third and important part is set of constraints constraint means here we set some limitation here we set some rules or some restrictions which variable has to satisfy so how we write this constraint we write constraint ci is equal to scope and relation now what is the meaning of a scope and relation a scope means set of variables that participate in this constraint set of variables right that participate in constraints suppose here i say that my x1 and x2 these are my two variables these are participating or these two are given in the question that is called the scope now is what is the meaning of relation relation means the values that the variable has suppose i say my this is called the domain also if i will say 1 for x and 2 for this x2 what is the relation and the constraint relation is that x1 can not be equal to x2 this is the important thing when i will solve i will show you the example in my next lesson as well so you will see A scope means set of variables that participate in the constraint relation means defines the value that variables have right suppose this is how we will write down our constraint according to scope so suppose i am using these two variables x1 and x2 
and what is my what is the relation between these two variables x1 can not be equal to x2 so this is my first constraint as i said as i said that we can assign any value just like 1 and 2 so another way to write down this x1 and x2 and this instead of x1 i can write down 1 instead of x2 i can write down x2 because these two values cannot be equal and i said it is not necessary that we can assign number instead of 1 i can make a so x and 1 these are the scope these are the variables which are participating in the constraint and these values cannot be same so here i said x1 is equal to a so it will be a and 2 right now suppose this is this is my variable this is my variable and a this the domain of x1 is a b means values we can assign to x and x2 is b and c so how we can write down our constraint we can write down first the scope what is the scope x1 and x2 these two are my variables then for domain a and b from this we can take a and we can take b and then a and c right from here we can take b and c but we cannot take b from here and b from here because it it will violate the constraint so this is the another way so what i said in csp problem we have to deal with three things variables domain and constraints and the variable should follow the restrictions which are set in the constraint so now i will read this the constraint means limitation or rule is the collection of all the restrictions and regulations that are imposed on the agent while solving the problem the agent cannot violate or avoid these restrictions while performing any action right go back to this definition in artificial intelligence or operation research constraint satisfaction is the process of finding the solution to a set of constraints that impose conditions that variables must satisfy now you can read this very slowly it will be clear to you right now here is the example where we use csp problems so we use in sequoia problem right so duco problem we saw we use as csv eight coins problem crypt arithmetic map coloring so this is the sudoku problem what we do in sudoku you can observe see these are the boxes this is three by three box this is three by three this is three by three so we have total here nine boxes so nine by nine which is equal to 81 so these 81 are our variables in this in this sudoku problem this are this is our variables see some variables are given and some are blank so 81 minus whatever is written here right these are uh, 20 minus 20 whatever is remaining is the variable now is domain what is our domain domain is in this rule i hope that you already played this game these are the individual boxes in each box you can write down any number from 1 to 9 so 1 to 9 are our domain and now what is the constraint the important part which rules we have to set here in order to play this game and variable should follow the constraint means in each row and each column we cannot repeat the number if 2 is there in this row right we have options we have domain 1 to 9 so we can write down whatever number here but not 2 because in this row already 2 is written similarly in 6 here so 1 to 9 we can write down any number in this column but we cannot use 6 again because it's given so this is the rule this is the constraint and then this is the solution so you can check row wise or column wise each row we have number from 1 to 9 but there is no repeating number same with each column so this is the sudoku problem now in the next lesson i will also solve map map coloring problem for you this is the map coloring what we do here actually these are the different colors the colors are assigned so colors are domain and all these boxes are our variables right the rule is here what rule or what constraint we have to follow that neighbors cannot have the same color 
right this is white so this is the this part is the neighbor of white this cannot be white this is the neighbor of white we cannot have this so these are the neighbors of brown so see here these cannot be brown same thing here how we do this coloring see you in the next lesson meanwhile please practice it subscribe share and like my channel and thanks for watching